Willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge Sherlock Holmes. So, wir können hier wieder raus. Sehr schön. Alter, ist die Tür laut. This area serves as Sir Rodney Bentcliffe's workshop. I will need these tongs. Yeah, that nimmst du mit. Tools used by archaeologists in their research. Tap here. Diese Metallplatte ist nicht nur vor archäologischem vor? Es ist nicht von archäologischem Interesse, sondern scheint auch Teil von etwas Größerem zu sein. Im Moment kann ich jedoch nicht genau sagen, um was es sich dabei handeln könnte. Sieht aus wie ein Schild. Dreh dich doch mal auf die Seite. Ey, ernsthaft? A shape has been cut in the place. What should be done with it? Archaeological findings. Old clay pots with numbers inscribed upon them. Na, wir gucken erst mal hinten rein. A glass plate negative is missing. Okay. It is a glass plate negative of an Egyptian statue. Glass plate negatives, a remarkable method for recording ancient civilizations. Archaeological findings. Old clay pots with numbers inscribed upon them. Ja. Es gibt nur wenige Menschen, die den Namen des Roten Blackwood, bla bla bla. Wundersame Fortsetzung der Ausgrabung in der römischen Term von Stadtlane. Mein werter Freund, ich möchte im kommenden Monat eine Pressekonferenz in den Term von Strandlane erhalten. War ein bemerkenswertes Jahr für meine Arbeit in Ägypten, doch jetzt ist es... Sir Rodney, bla bla bla. Okay. Could have happened. <coughs> yes, it is somewhat treacherous. <coughs> Fortunately, I am unscathed. To where does this corridor lead? To the frigidarium, the coal room. Barely unscathed and by a very small margin. And treacherous is an understatement. Hmm. Ich glaube, da möchte uns jemand tot sehen. Those stones weigh tons. We won't move them. It does not matter. If our investigation requires it, we shall ask for them to be removed. Ah. Was für ein Zufall.
Good day to you, Mr. Phillips. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my colleague, Dr. Watson. Would you be so kind as to answer our questions? Certainly, sir. Sechs Teile müssen wir finden. Manchester City Was ist geschehen? Please tell us the chain of events from the start of your day. Everything that you can remember. The slightest detail may be of importance. Very well, sir. I came in at 6:30 this morning and I opened the baths. I made sure that the room was clean and I prepared the towels. The brazier was still burning. There was a fire burning all night. Yes, Sir Gregory ordered me to light the brazier yesterday. It takes some time until the room is fully heated. The gentleman had a meeting at nine o'clock this morning. I wanted everything to be perfect. They'd been in the steam room for 20 minutes when I suddenly heard shouting. I ran to the door, but it was closed. I couldn't open it. So I ran out to the street to call for the police. One constable came up and then there were others and they picked the lock. Then Inspector Lestrade came along and he told us that nothing should be touched. Hmm. Did you receive any other visitors this morning? No one. Until these gentlemen arrived. Sir Gregory was the first. And then, while we were discussing work details, Sir Rodney and Mr. Blinkhorn arrived and Mr. Garrow followed. What happened after that? I waited until it all entered the steam room. Then I returned to the hall. The changing room door was open, so I should hear if they needed anything. You would have heard if someone had entered or left the steam room. Certainly, sir. These doors make a lot of noise. How many people have keys to the steam room? We have just the one key for now, which Sir Gregory gave to me. So, this morning you opened the steam room, and then? I put the key inside my desk. But when they called, I couldn't find it. It had disappeared. I, I, I don't know where it is. Did you leave the baths at any time or receive any visitors? No, sir. I did not. Uh, who? Scheiße. Did you leave the baths at any time or receive any visitors? No, sir. I did not. You are not telling the truth, Mr. Phillips. You left your work this morning, and you went to the post office, where you dispatched a telegram at around 7.30. But how could you... No, I... The telegram was for someone in Manchester. Mr. Holmes, it's impo... I'll tell you everything. I left the baths at 7.20. My sister wrote to me yesterday, and she needed a reply, or our mother is unwell. I was away for 20 minutes. And I closed the baths on my way out. Did you receive a reply from your sister? No, she wasn't meant to. I just told her to pawn my old school uniform so that she could pay for the medication. Did you check to see if the key was still in your desk when you returned? No, I didn't. Please, Mr. Holmes, don't tell the police about this. Sir Gregory would give me the sack. I need this job. I see. Okay. Da hinten. Boah, wie viele kommen denn hier noch? Oh, da ist auf jeden Fall noch eine Frau. Und das glaube ich auch. Das ist ein bärtiger Mann. Das erkennt man schon. Ähm, hier, Lestrat, lass mal Weg freiräumen. Mr. Holmes, I should like to take the suspects to the yard. You can interrogate them there. 
Any objections? Uh, please wait. I need to do something first. Uh, Baker Street. Wir müssen das Blut untersuchen. Hm, nein, nein. Äh. Okay. Wir haben nur ein so ein Ding. Da kann man ja gar nichts machen. Schmutz untersuchen. Ah. Right. Otherwise known as Fool's Gold. White clay particles. Selenite. Interesting. According to the color and its composition, I deduce that this sample is white clay. Now, I need to find which area near London this sample belongs to. The sample of dirt belongs to the white London clay region, located near the city of St. Albans. Okay. Let us analyze this blood sample. This blood has not coagulated well. It seems very liquid. That is strange. Let us see what is inside it. Hydrogen peroxide will bring any foreign matter to the surface. I must take a pipette and place several drops of hydrogen peroxide. Uh, duh. Water. This blood is heavily diluted with water. My analysis table. It is useful for my work. Okay, aber die sind in einem Dampfbad. Ist doch klar, wenn der Dampf wieder, also wenn es wieder kühler wird da drinne, wird der Dampf wieder zu Wasser. Also halt nicht der komplette Dampf, sondern nur tröpfchenweise. Ist doch klar, dass das dann das Blut, was dort rumläuft, verdünnt ist. Ich verstehe es nicht. So, dann gehen wir nochmal dahin. Ich muss mir noch das Metallstück rausholen aus der Feuerlache. I should analyze this melted metal. Äh, uh, ja dann, los, lass uns gehen. Äh, uh, sie sollten das doch liegen lassen. Drecksbullen. Und noch mal ab zu Baker Street. So. Okay, das passt also nicht. Aber da fehlt noch ein bisschen was. Was ich aber 
Was es mit dem Metall auf sich hat, das erfahren wir in der nächsten Folge. Bis dann, bleibt entspannt, genießt den Tag und bye bye.